Hello and welcome back to the shop. Today we're doing something a little different. Today we're going to modify a tool to do a different job than it was really meant for. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys my new leather cover for my surface plate. So I'm no longer going to damage hopefully the surface plate if I place things on top of it. And uh, tool that I'm going to be modifying is this mini tool grinder buffing wheel well, it's about 20 bucks from you know where and uh, I guess this is a unboxing some tooling and a shield and some crap who cares um, what I'm really interested in is That's it, that's the end of that in there. There's this mini tool grinder. And uh, specifically, not the buffing side of things, but the grinding side of things. And here's some brackets and wing nuts to attach the tool rests. And <laughs> looks like it's... Uh, yeah, but the quality you expect for 20 bucks. I guess the stone is loose on there. In that ground. Anyway, uh, this side, uh, I'll give you guys a plan on what's going to go on. This side of the grinder, this whole shield is going away. Everything. This is not a particularly high speed tool grinder. I think it's uh, 3600 RPM. So it's not breakneck neck speeds. It's got these feet, rubber feet that are actually probably going to go away. I'll mount something that uh, different underneath. But. Uh, the main thing is this part is getting modified so I can actually turn this into um, a dressing tool for my diamond wheels. Uh, the way I use my diamond wheels to cut uh, precision ground stones, um, they leave basically a ramp up point. And uh, while that's okay to rough cut, it's not okay to do a finish cut on it. So. Um, I did some research and most people seem to use um, a brake style, uh, um, what do you call it, dressing wheels basically. So where the body would be actually a brake. So the faster you spin it, the more it clamps down, the more friction it provides and it drags this slightly uh, along the edge. Well, those are a few hundred dollars. This is uh, less than a tenth of the price and it's brand new. So, I'm going to give it a shot. At the end of the day, I can always differentially spin this and be a little bit gentle. The stone style, I believe, is about the same. They're all aluminum stones, aluminum oxide stones, so it's not a big deal. So, without further ado, let's take it apart.
all right I'm using two existing screw holes here that attach this bottom piece to attach this piece of scrap steel here that uh, I'm going to use this to mount it to the magnetic chuck because this is actually non-magnetic and uh, after some digging around I found some screws that seem like they're the right size and washers that will press that plate back down uh, because that plate actually holds uh, the wiring for the motor The screws sit proud. Maybe I have to. Yep. Have to deburr this. I'll be back. I'll deburr it, put it together, and then I'll show you on the grinder how this is going to go together. So, this is the moment of truth. Uh, this thing still powers up, it runs fine. It's not the most balanced thing in the world, but it doesn't have to be. And uh, now I'm going to try dressing a wheel. So I wanted to say that dust collection, eye protection, ear protection is all a good thing in this scenario. So now I'm going to warm up the spindle, which I already warmed up before a little bit. Now I'm going to warm up the grinder. This is the result. This thing worked. Uh, you basically power it on to true up the wheel against the diamond wheel, then you power it off and you bring down the wheel slowly and let this thing free wheel. And it actually works pretty good actually. I'm thinking maybe putting in an air pedal here so it, you get a little bit more resistance, but other than that, it's okay. Basically dollar store stone on this. I'm probably going to upgrade that at some point. And uh, here's the result. This is a set of surface ground stones. This is the fine side. 
the ring is pretty good. This is the chorus side. Doesn't scratch, but it shows the grinder that was used in God knows where. It is not exactly the highest precision machine around. Um, then we have two sets of ultra fine stones. These two sets are going to the same person. This is staying with me. The person wanted to be one of the beta testers, I guess. And uh, these stones are rated for 600 and 1,000 grit. So 600 grit is the orange part, 1,000 grit is the white part. And uh, I'll be frank with you. Actually, I'm not going to dirty up the new stones. I'm going to dirty up my own. It is a very nice set of stones, actually. Now for the ultra fine side. And it definitely is picking up. Some crud. But the reality of it is. Uh, it's basically not removing anything except for off the peaks. Um, if I keep this up. This. Uh, one, two, three block set. Will actually. Basically ring together at this point. Um, actually you do feel some resistance, some almost, they're almost ringing. So, it's interesting. And, uh, homemade surface ground parallels. that I should have gone a little bit finer and uh, as far as the stones are concerned and if you can see that I actually took off some burrs so that's the end of it subscribe like comment share do what you do best. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.